All right, last video of the day, I believe. I filmed like four, I guess. It's been a lot, but here we have yesterday's Bath and Body Works haul. I'm so excited, guys. Um, I went in because my mom had given me a coupon for an $11 candle. Um, of course, she got one of the $11 three-wig coupons because she never shops there. Um, and then she also gave me her 20% off and her free item. So I'll show you what I got. I did not get a lot, even though yesterday was 50% off uh, aromatherapy. There was not much of the aromatherapy. I don't know. It just never appeals to me. And then what normally happens is I grab it during semi-annual sale. And I'm like, oh my gosh, why did I sleep on this? It's so good. And then it's gone. When will I stop the cycle? Not today. So I went in and I got my free gift. I'm going to show you guys first. I got Rose in the travel size. And Rose is Airy Rose water blended with jasmine petals and creamy musk so i always thought rose was going to be a little mature and by mature let me explain what, what i think mature means mature is kind of powdery it doesn't bother me if it's not like baby powder poof in your face this is more like um just crazy powdery so this is not that i'm actually surprised and i might get this in a um moisturizing body wash if i can find it in moisturizing body wash still because I really like this. And funny story, I have a little container of these, like literally a little container of these um, from semi-annual sale and just from free items. And my husband was like, he was like, why do you have so many of these tiny ones? And I was like, oh, because I guess I never noticed how many I had until recently and they're free. So if anything, I'm always gonna have a bunch of little tiny ones. Um, but he just was like a little confused by the why they're so small. Um, they're free. <laughs> So I have a bunch of those and again, really love this scent. Kind of surprised by it. I just knew I wasn't gonna like that. But this this is why this brings me back to the reason I love florals. Florals were my original love. When I was a kid, I liked the fruity and then around teenagerness, I stopped liking fruity and I really like florals. I love florals from you know, like literally perfumey, perfumey to true florals to mature florals. Love them in candle form and body care. And I've always loved florals up until I would say the start of the pandemic. I really started getting into foodie scents. And I don't know if that's a comfort thing, <laughs> but definitely got into foodie scents hard. And now I'm kind of like weaning myself back because sometimes they are too sweet and i cannot do like the maples and the caramels like oh my gosh but speaking of maples i placed an order online which is going to be a later it's going to be a later haul completely forgot that i ordered this already i really can't stand when i do that y'all <laughs> Really can't say when I do that. But this is Frosted Biscotti in the Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. It might be going back depending on how delicious this is about to smell. This is a first impression for sure. I had already gone ahead and smelled the rose, but I try not to open these because they're, they drip, you know? So this is Citrus Frosting, Maple Sugar, and Warm Cookies. Now, Bath & Body Works, oh, can't see that. Bath & Body Works does a amazing cookies. But this is the little fox. He's having his biscotti with his coffee pretty jealous of him and also I have a story about what is it the one that looks like Valentine's Day packaging coffee I love you a latte okay it's not that I don't like it love you a latte I don't know what happened I started that soap and was deeply disgusted with it in the bathroom like deeply disgusted and it's not that it smells bad per se I just could not do it like oh my gosh it was like grossing me out um and although that smells amazing please where is the candle the maple is not heavy um the bis the biscuit <laughs> The cookie is so good in that, like so good, guys. I understand why I keep selling out online, um, but the cookie is so good in that that I, I was, I might keep that. Um, I'm afraid of it in the bathroom, though. We'll see. 
Another one that keeps selling out online is the Blueberry Crumble. And I do have that in hand sanitizer. And although it smells good, that one I knew I was not going to be able to do in the bathroom. Like, I just knew. And outside of the bathroom, I don't really use these expensive ones in the kitchen. The kitchen is really for Dollar Tree soap. Um, I don't know why. Uh... If I have an influx, like a lot of soap, I might put a nice one in the kitchen. But outside of that, we only have two bathrooms and the kitchen, which are the three places you would wash your hands. And the kitchen, I just don't really like to use my nice soap there. So next, we have, they had all the Christmas stuff out. I am literally going to try to insert some really, really short clips. I felt weird filming in, in the story, guys. I'm new to YouTube. Uh, get, please give me like a break. I will attempt more. I know the people at the Atlantic Station location know me a lot more by face. I don't talk to anybody. <laughs> I'm just, I'm a little shy in that way. Um, I don't like to feel like I'm bothering people at the store when they're working. Um, but the people at the Atlantic Station location know me by face. I know that now. Like they, they all know me. Um, so much so that one day I went early in the morning and I did not know we were still doing senior hours at places. I was just trying to go before work started and the lady was like, oh my gosh, it's senior hours. And I was like, oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't know when I looked it up online on the app, it just said you guys were open. Um, and she was like, it's okay. Come in. Nobody was in there and nobody showed up for the duration of the entire time I was there. So we were pretty good. Of course, everybody wore masks, of course, hand sanitizer. Um, I would hate to make anyone feel uncomfortable, such as an older person. Um, so I would definitely never on purpose be like, let me in. I'm already here. Like my job is so close to that, that I would have just driven away. But um, they, my Atlantic Station location as of two weeks ago, no, as of last week, didn't have any Christmas candles out. This location had all the Christmas candles out. So I got ice vanilla woods. Of course, this packaging I love the white barn packaging and um although they had literally all the Bath and Body Works packaging they had all the white barn packaging they had everything and they had the whole Thanksgiving line I really identify with <laughs> I love this matte packaging I just love it um you know my only gripe is this is gold and this is silver I wish they would have went full monochromatic and did wax color jar color top lid color then because the, this is just a basic lid so i'm gonna go ahead and take this off so it doesn't blind you but here we have the wax color it's the same as the jar you guys i love that i think it's so beautiful and the notes on ice vanilla woods sorry <laughs> is uh ice lavender i don't know if you'll be able to see that ice la oh no that's like really bad. Okay, I guess that's for people with camera cameras. So this is Ice Lavender, Sweet Vanilla, and Ebony Wood. And you guys, I'm not one to be like, you know what this smells like? But you know what this smells like? <laughs> Just broke my own rule. This is Vanilla Lavender or Lavender Vanilla, um, which I think was also a white barn line. Except the ebony wood as a cologne to it like a they ramped up the vanilla and then the cologne comes in and it's beautiful i hope it's not headachey i don't think it is i think the vanilla is gonna cut that because i love this candle and i'm this one i i'm probably gonna hoard sweater weather just to be honest with you in this packaging because sweater weather came out in a similar color but this one i will burn um what is it called? Ice vanilla woods. I might burn it before fall ends just to see how it burns. But I want to try to, I, I'm a purist for scents. I try to keep, um, unless I need a break from like certain type of scents, I try to keep everything seasonally appropriate. So um, this is more so for later, but I'm, I might burn this. I might. And then the last but not least item, I had to get another before the season was up. Pumpkin vanilla cream. And of course you have that wax. And the notes on pumpkin vanilla cream are creamy pumpkin, vanilla cream, fresh ground nutmeg, and graham cracker crust. And oh my gosh, you guys, you're gonna see this in my empties. I finished one, I fell in love with it burning. Like, oh my gosh. On cold, I was like, eh. but on burning, I fell in love. I was halfway through, my mother-in-law came over, 
I had a second one and she was like, oh my gosh, your house smells so good. You know, I'm, I'm very much so my um, love language is gifts. So when somebody, if I can be 100% sure I know someone's going to enjoy something, definitely will get it from them. So I already had one. I went ahead and gave it to her. She was like, oh, I love this candle so much. She even texted my husband about it later when she was burning it. <sighs> yes, It's so fall and it's so gourmand and like the perfect not sugary sweet way this is my ideal food candle i cannot rave enough about it now got down to the halfway point right started to be a little burny i hot dumped it although the burn the burn actually it's one of these candles like i was telling you guys the burn kind of complements the scent but i hot dumped it it resolved everything now is hot dumping ideal no i want all my wax i want all my scent but i hot dumped it which just means that you pour the wax directly into the trash can what i typically do is take an old t-shirt that i've used for a wash rag throw it in the trash and then hot dump over it just to make sure there's no hole in the the um the garbage bag <sighs> guys this is one of my top fall candles it is on my top fall candle i love it um but yes i was uh, halfway through when i realized uh, i 100 percent regretted giving it away <laughs> not that i regret making her happy but i was like oh my gosh i need another one i'm gonna need it before fall is over so i had to get this one crazy story went to the store yesterday to pick up these free items and that one soap and or discounted items and that one soap and one, they didn't have any Christmas pocket bags out, which is my order for buying things is always pocket bags first. Um, I like to purchase pocket bags first. Can't really explain why. I just always have done that. Pocket bags, as far as seasonal scent, pocket bags go first. I don't know. So there were no pocket bags. So I was a little thrown by that. Um, in addition to that, all the Thanksgiving scents were out, but none of the fall scents. This was not out. Wall of Christmas, wall of aromatherapy, stand of thanksgiving this was nowhere to be found panicked panicked so the girl i was like excuse me ma'am do you have um any more of the pumpkin vanilla cream anywhere like i was just thinking maybe i hadn't seen it in the store and it had to be here it's not oh fall's not over i was so shocked she was like oh yeah yeah we have one of those she went back into a drawer and got it for me and i was like like I was shocked, like you guys, I was like, did they put the fall away? And that's when it clicked. I had not seen one fall candle. They, it was gone. Like, I don't know if yesterday was the day where they were like, take it down, put it back up, put up the Christmas. All the fall candles were gone. It was only Thanksgiving and Christmas. Anyways, talk too long about that. Um, glad I found, it one, uh, found one, hoping it's on semi-annual because I will be going to town on pumpkin vanilla cream. I don't want to ever go without that. There's very few things that I need like so many more of. This is one of those. Again, I'm not a collector. I do go through things almost as quickly as they are in the collection. Um, so I don't have a like back stock that's crazy through the roof of like older items. Everything I have is within, with the exception of a lotion that I just finished, everything I have is from like a three year maybe three at the most and three is like the oldest lotion I have but anyways that's my story about pumpkin vanilla cream and how you need it in your life and if you also agree and or disagree subscribe below uh let me know how you feel about the fact that fall is gone out of the stores like dang we have I would consider we have another two months like Anyways, subscribe below and have a good day. I want to hear from you guys below about how you feel about Christmas bombarding their way in. I love Christmas. I love Christmas so much, but like, no, not yet. <laughs>